In 2018, Qcells made a commitment to open the largest solar module factory in the U.S. Today, we're the number one module supplier in the country for both residential and commercial segments, a leader in the utility sector, and a proud creator of U.S. manufacturing jobs. When Qcells came to Dalton, it was unexpected in a good way. There was nothing like the traditional type of jobs that exist here. We're so, so happy to have Qcells here to provide products that create sustainable energy. It's just a good win for us and a, and a great story for our community. Dalton is a carpet mill, that's what it's known for. Qcells has made it more than a carpet town. So I think that's an investment in itself to give the employees here another opportunity to not only invest in themselves with a job, but to work for a company that invests in employees. The fact that Qcells is the highest output of commercial and residential modules in the United States makes me kind of proud to know that we're building these here, using them in the American market, so they're not going to other countries. Qcells are investing uh, more in the solar modules in the U.S., just definitely going to create more job opportunities, and since the product is going to be manufactured in the U.S., it will be available to the U.S. market and the industrial and the commercial sector. Now Qcells, a founding member of the ultra-low carbon solar alliance, will expand on our successes with a new bold commitment to build a sustainable supply chain entirely in the U.S., from raw materials to fully assembled solar modules. That's why our parent company, Hanwha Solutions, has invested over $200 million to become the largest stakeholder of U.S.-based REC Silicon. REC Silicon produces polysilicon, a raw material critical to solar panel manufacturing, using hydropower and processes that are less energy intensive than standard methods. And this investment is only the beginning. Hanwha will continue to find sustainable sources in the U.S. for all its needed solar materials. By strengthening production capabilities in the U.S., Hanwha will rebuild the country's solar value chain, secure the supply chain for clean energy technology, and create opportunities throughout the U.S. market that extend beyond manufacturing. It's already leveraged the existing relationship between REC Silicon and Ferroglobe to procure high-purity silicon metal through a low-carbon and traceable supply chain, entered into an agreement with Canadian Premium Sand to source its solar glass, and is planning additional supply chain investments as part of a multi-phase plan to produce fully made-in-America solar solutions. In anticipation of the increased access to key materials these investments and partnerships will create, we're investing $170 million into our Georgia plant to almost double production. With the passage of the landmark Solar Energy Manufacturing for America Act, part of the Inflation Reduction Act, we can accelerate our investment in the entire solar supply chain and provide a sustainable, fully U.S. manufactured product. As our footprint in the U.S. grows, we're planning greater production output and other future expansions within the next few years. We're really excited about the new factory coming up in Georgia. It is going to create more job opportunities for the community. By expanding, it allows us to allow more people to come in, learn, and develop the area itself. And hopefully, by expanding here, it'll show that we can actually maintain business in the United States with factories here and help us to actually build more facilities across the United States. A fully sustainable supply chain in the U.S. won't be built overnight, but that's okay because we're driven by the power and potential of solar. Q-cells, in this for the long haul.